Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Eufy Homevac S11 Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. The S11 is the much bigger brother to the H11 that we checked out recently, with three different power modes delivering 8 to 40 minutes of runtime with up to 120 air watts of suction power and a nice variety of attachments. The Eufy Homevac S11 has quite a bit to offer, so let's check it out! Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So first off, as you can see, I have a little bit uh, disassembled up here because I couldn't fit it on my desk for this video. Um, but the way it basically works is you have this, which is you know the main unit you can attach all the different attachments to. And then they're just kind of like a uh, quick release on there. So you can attach that. As you can see, this is the uh, standard setup, which you know has the kind of swivel head here that will um, get all your floors really easily. So I'm going to take it apart again so I can fit it back on my desk. First off, there are two different packages you can get for the HomeVac S11. The $200 S11 Go features the, what you see here, the regular HomeVac and all the attachments, but the $240 S11 Infinity package, which we have here, also includes an extra battery and a soft brush roller for hard floors. So obviously that does raise the price quite a bit, um, and it's not completely necessary, but having an extra battery around is handy, so you always have one ready to go. But of course, the way this can be mounted to a wall, if you can run power to it and you know charge it every time that you hang it back up, then maybe the extra battery isn't necessary. So as we mentioned earlier in its base setup, the S11 features this metal tube and then the standard uh, motorized cleaning head down here. This is the only attachment to feature LED lights on the front, which really does make it a lot handier for cleaning up crumbs around you know, dark corners of the kitchen floor. And because with the Infinity package, you get the extra soft roller, uh, you can obviously swap that out in here. And overall, this thing's been working really well. Um, I briefly mentioned it has three different power modes. Uh, I typically use it in the medium power mode and it's been working really well. One thing that kind of stinks is that there are these two little, they feel like, you know, little carpet, uh, little bristles thing here. But as you can see, the one on the bottom came off uh, as I was using it on carpet. Um, I don't know if just going back and forth on the carpet, that just kind of caught a corner and pulled it off. Um, but that did come off, you know, after a few days of using it, which is a little bit of a bummer. I'll probably just glue it back on and I think it will be fine. But And I didn't see anything in the manual about not using this attachment on carpet, so I don't think I'm using it outside of what it's intended to do. But like I said, even without that, um, this attachment's working fine and I'll probably just glue it back on if, if I feel like it needs it. And the rest of the attachments are all pretty standard. We have a flexible extension tube if you want to use that to get some hard to reach corners instead of the uh, solid metal tube. Um, we also have kind of like the H11 we checked out. We have the two-in-one attachment here. So it has a hard edge down here, but then you can slide that down and get the bristles on there. So that makes it a little bit easier for some surfaces. You can slide that back up. And then we also have the mini motorized cleaning head. Um, and so this is great for couches or beds or you know something where you don't need the long extension tube. And also maybe it's a smaller surface that you're trying to get into. And then lastly, we also have the, uh, I think they call this the crevice tool. Uh, so you could, you know, get down into couch, you know, in between cushions or up in the corners uh, to get some cobwebs or something like that. So really handy with the flexible tube uh, to get in those kind of hard to reach places. And one thing that makes this really convenient and is kind of, you know, par for the course with these cordless vacuums is that it's it comes with all of the necessary equipment to mount it to a wall. It just takes two screws, which are included with drywall anchors if you need them. And you can just attach it to a wall. And then uh, this part right here with the battery slides into that mount to hold it upright. Um, if you can reach a power cord, you can plug it into the back here to keep it charging while it's mounted. Um, and then the other cool thing with the mount is that it's designed to hold all the attachments and you can kind of build that out to as much as you want it to hold. So the three little clips that come to carry those different attachments aren't installed when you get it out of the box, but you can add or remove those as you want. So it's really handy to have all the attachments right there at the mount, but uh, it also does make it a little more cluttered, a little more cumbersome. So if you find yourself not needing those attachments all the time, you'd rather uh, clean it up a little bit. You could take those off and, you know, just have the mini motorized head or something if you wanted that on there by itself. And as we briefly mentioned, um, to kind of ride that line between power and battery life, the S11 has three different power modes. By default, when you pull the trigger and turn it on, it's in the medium setting, which will last for about, about 25 minutes um, of, of suction with that. And then if you push the, there's a button on top here, and if you push it once, 
it'll go to max power mode, which it says from a full charge, that'll drain the battery in about eight minutes. But then if you double tap the button, you can go into low power mode, which will give you about 40 minutes of runtime, which is really great. And so especially with the infinity package and the extra battery, you can get up to 80 minutes of runtime. I found myself using it in the medium mode most of the time. Um, my most common use with this thing so far has been just cleaning up, you know, crumbs and different things in the kitchen. We also have a cat that, you know, leaves some cat litter around his cat box. And so we can use this to easily and really quickly clean all that up. Um, even my four-year-old daughter loves using it to do that. So that's kind of fun. And I've never found myself using an entire charge at once. So I found the S11 to have plenty of battery life. And like I said, especially with the infinity package, you can just leave one charged or charging. And then if you run out of battery, you just swap that over really quickly and there's always one that's ready to go. And recharging a battery takes about three and a half hours. Obviously another really important thing is to be able to clean uh, the S11 really easily and Eufy's made that really easy to do. So you can see over here, there's a button to release the little dust collection bin. And then um, there's a button here to open it up. And you can just dump everything out into a trash can. If you wanna clean further or clean, um, there's a little filter that's easy to get here and clean that out, but you can just turn this and pull it out. And then you can easily get to all this stuff here and clean that out too. Uh, there'll sometimes be some different hair and everything kind of attached on here. so. Um, everything is really quick and really easy to clean. And then once you've cleaned everything back up, it's easy to clip back on. Uh, there's another little filter here on the back that you can just turn and you can pull that out of there and clean that off. And all of these filters, um, they can be just rinsed with water and then you'll let them completely dry, of course. And then they can be reinstalled and they're ready to go. Eufy does suggest uh, swapping the filters after six months of use. So that's something to keep in mind as well. With the wall mount and all of the available attachments located right by the vacuum, the S11 is very convenient. It's great to use for cleaning up after messy kids at the dinner table or cleaning up after, you know, pets or anything like that. And uh, yeah, obviously because of the wall mount and cordless design, it's just very easy and very convenient to just quickly clean something up. Obviously, it's not going to be as powerful as a lot of other, you know, corded upright vacuums, but the convenience factor of this to just really quickly clean something up is uh, is really nice to have. If you are looking for something much smaller, be sure to check out our review of the H11, which I'll link down in the description below. It's the little brother to the S11 in the same uh, home vac line of vacuum cleaners from Eufy. Starting at just $200, the uh, Eufy HomeVac S11 is quite a bit cheaper than some of its competitors. But with the wide line of attachments, the battery life, and the uh, suction power up to 120 air watts, I mean, that's um, some pretty impressive performance for what you're getting for $200. So what do you think of the Eufy HomeVac S11? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys.